Hi, I'm Cecilia Wright, and I did my presentation on Canadian politics because I think they're really relevant because every single trifold you see in here, every one of them was affected by the laws our Prime Ministers make. Now, before someone becomes Prime Minister, they have to win the election. Now, they can do this by either getting a majority, which is more than 150 seats, or with a minority, but still the most writings. Now, before they pick their platforms, they go sit with focus groups, and with the focus groups, they pick, they see which priorities are going to be the most important with the public, and which ones are going to get the best results for their party. There are four main political parties. The Conservatives are known for lowering taxes, which isn't always a good thing, because they might not have enough money to make big changes that are significant to our government and our people. The Liberals like to establish themselves as the middle party. The NDP like to raise taxes so they have more money to make good changes. The Green Party are basically environmentalists making a stir. They're good people to vote for if you're mad at everyone else. Now, up here I have four of the Prime Ministers I think are one of the most, some of the most important. John A. McDonald's up there because he's the first Prime Minister and because he's the one who built the Canadian Pacific Railroad. Pierre Elliott Trudeau's up there. He won the Albert Einstein Peace Prize in his later years. Alexander Mackenzie's up there because he was the one in office for the shortest amount of time, only 63 days. He's a good person to feel sorry for. Now currently, we have Stephen Harper who's in government and he's a conservative. He won a min minority government. Now, there have been several huge scandals in the history of politics. The first scandal was the CPR scandal with, when John M. Donald was in power. Now, he was. This was a scandal. It wasn't a scandal at first, but there are two um, railroad companies competing to make the Canadian Pacific Railroad. And one was the Hugh Gallon Company. And the Hugh Gallon Company made a, do made a donation to John A. McDonald's government. And naturally, if someone makes a donation, you're going to let them build your railroad, aren't you? It would make good sense. So, actually, it was discovered later that not only they made a donation, but they bribed the government with money to let them build the railroad. And the Liberals discovered a telegraph that said, um, I need another 10,000. Answer today, do not fail me. This telegraph was from John A. McDonald to the Hugh Gallon Company. The liberals who were in opposition at the time discovered this and used it to their advantage. Now, the most recent scandal was the sponsorship scandal. Now, what had happened it was Quebec was trying to separate, and the government, with John Cartier in power, didn't want to let them. So, they hired ad agencies to put up posters and bulletin boards advertising staying in Canada. Now, along the way, someone in power decided that they didn't, that they wanted to get money to certain individuals. They gave the money to the ad agencies who didn't do any work, but passed it instead through a financial web to get to the people. I got this information from John Gomery's sponsorship report. It's here in my bibliography. I hope you enjoyed my presentation. The world is a better place if they know more about things going on in it.